Hey guys, Alex here, creator of the CrocFit app, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's workout is a kettlebell chest workout to help you build muscle in your chest, shoulders, arms. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be efficient, it's gonna be burning, and all you need is one kettlebell. If you have more than one and different weights, then that's even better. But like I said, if you've got one, then that's absolutely fine. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, starting in the warm up, very important to just get these joints nice and warm, the chest, the shoulders, starting in backward arm swings. Very important before we go into all these push ups, all these presses, to make sure our shoulders are nice and warm. Big circles, try to touch your ears with the inside of your arms and then all the way back behind you. Come onto your hands and knees into a cat and cow position, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Tuck your chin in, tailbone in. With your breath, go between these two positions. Moving through the spine, keep going. Level off to all fours and reach one arm through and then twist. <clears throat> Rotate. <sighs> Opening up that torso, big stretch through the spine in that mid back, reaching through and opening up. Okay, let's repeat the same. On the other side, reach through and open up. And if you're lucky, you get a couple of back cracks as you twist, as I just did as well. Opening up that chest, Mobilizing through the spine, making sure all the joints are lubricated and ready to load. Okay, coming up into the final exercise, into a high plank. So a high plank position on your hands. From here, squeeze your glutes, lock out your legs, core strong, and then slowly, one hand at a time, into a shoulder tap. Final exercise here before we go into the main kettlebell chest day. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, let's start in 30 seconds. Grab one kettlebell, bring it into the middle, and we're gonna start with doing some push-ups on the kettlebell. The next four minutes is push-up oriented. So exercise one, we're gonna take one hand onto the kettlebell, one hand by the side, going into a push-up, and then step the hands to the other side, the other hand comes onto the kettlebell and presses, okay? We're going for 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest, in three, two, one, let's go. We're in. Step to the side and switch. Of course, drop the knees at any time in the next four minutes. We're gonna do 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest for the whole workout. Keep going. Squeeze the chest at the top. You'll feel slightly different with the hand that's on the kettlebell, a bit more of a stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Rest for 20. It feels fresh, right? You wait. In minutes to come, there's gonna be nothing left. Let's do the same thing with one hand on the kettlebell and one hand on the floor, staying on one side, okay? So maintain that push-up position with one hand here. In three, two, one, let's go. Now we can slow it down, keep the control. Drop the knees at any time, because we wanna see chest down low. Keep the tension. Don't pause at the top for too long. 
and really push that hand into the kettlebell and squeeze the chest on that side. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Enjoy the rest. Get ready to do the same on the other side. Shake off the arms, give your wrists a nice stretch and movement. Get ready, other hand on the kettlebell. In three, two, one, let's go. The hand on the kettlebell has a bit more work to do. It's got to get deeper and it's got to push up all the way to the top. Keep going, 15 seconds. This is the third minute of the four minutes of push-ups. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, final minute, we're gonna have both hands on the kettlebell. This is really, really challenging. So I'm, I'm just gonna start on my knees because it's real tough. From here, the elbows stay narrow. You're gonna drop the chest to the hands and push away. Great squeeze for the inside of that chest. Two, one, let's go. Keep your shoulders down. Shoulders down, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push away. Elbows in. Push with those pecs. Of course, the shoulders and arms having a big workout as well today. Keep going. If you're strong to have a full push-up position, then awesome, go for it. If you're just doing half ones here, that's okay as well. Make sure those pecs are working. Squeeze them, three, two, one, and rest. Push-ups complete, 20 seconds rest as we go into the first set of chest press. Both hands onto the kettlebell into whatever position feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna have my thumbs and hands wrapped around the handle. From here, laying on the back in three, two, one, chest press. So now starting to use the kettlebell in the chest press position. Normal, sitting on your back, legs bent. If you have a bench at home, then great, you can use the bench. We'll need it for exercises, but if you're on the floor with me, that's fine. Chest, touch the kettlebell, and then fully extending up. As you fully extend, drive the elbows in and squeeze the pecs. Five, four, three, two, one and drop it down to the side. Rest for 20. Let's stay on this set for three sets, that's one. I want you to have a little play around with the angle now. So let's do the same exercise, but in a bridge position. Here, we're gonna work that lower chest a little bit more. Switch up the angle in three, two, one. Let's go, bridge. Drop the kettlebell down to belly and squeeze it up. If you have a heavier kettlebell, this is the heaviest exercise we could do today, so you can switch it up. If you feel it working with whatever weight you have, keep going. Keep the hips up in the bridge. Feel the slightly different contraction in the angle here. 10. Keep the shoulder blades back. Three. Two, one, and rest there. Good, okay, final set. I'm gonna just up it from my 16 to my 20 and go back to the normal position. Up to you what you do in your final set. I'm gonna take it from here to chest fly afterwards. So we'll need the lighter one back. In three, two, one, off you go. Final set. Whew. 
Don't rush your way down. Control it down two or three seconds and then power up. Have that control. The kettlebell also serves an ability for us to squeeze the hands in, which increases the contraction in the chest. Squeezing your hands in, 10 seconds. Are you ready? And rest. Okay, drop the heavy weight aside. Let's take it into a chest fly. Switching hands for two sets each. So, you need to grip on as normal with the kettle. Push above your chest. Bring the other hand to the floor. Bend the elbow and drop to the side and lift. Two, one, let's go. This is killer, especially for the side that hasn't had the rest. <laughs> so soften the elbow, drop the elbow to the floor and then lift up. Don't worry about extending the arm long. Just drop the elbow wide, extend the chest and lift. Keep a nice safe position in the shoulders. If it feels wrong in the shoulders, switch up the angle. We are tearing the pecs with this stretch which is what we want. In three, two, one, and rest. If you drop it down safely here, you can then take the kettlebell above the head and round. If you have a good surface to roll it on, of course. Enjoy that rest, get ready for the left arm. If you're wearing a watch, be careful as you have it into that rack position. Don't want you breaking any watches. Be careful of those faces. Let's go. Up you come, get that comfortable position. Soften the elbow out wide, squeeze it in. A chance to get the biceps in a bit of work as well, because the triceps are gonna do a lot of work today with all the pressing, and we're doing some triceps at the end. So now's the time to squeeze those biceps and lift back into the middle with the chest. 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Let's do that for two sets. Back to the first arm. And same again for a second time. This is a quick, intense workout. Not much rest, just go, go, go. Constant tension in the chest. Two, one, let's go. Into the shoulders, drive up, elbow bends and out to the side. Final set in the fly. Push it hard. Bring the kettlebell all the way up above the shoulders. Squeeze the chest, 10 seconds. Keep your palm facing inwards and rest. Oh, I gave you an extra second there. My, my bad. Switch it around. Uh, final set, other arm before we're moving into a superset of pullover and tricep dip, tricep extension. Two, one, let's go. Final time in the fly. Oh. Keep your shoulders. Head and neck relaxed. So if you're on a bench, then naturally you're gonna get a bigger range of motion. If you're laying on the floor, obviously your elbow can't go lower than the floor. So we're limited here, but make sure you're keeping that tension throughout. Don't give in to the floor. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna stay here, and we're gonna take it into a pullover, comfortable grip, and we're gonna take behind her head into a pullover. Of course, the lats in the back are gonna do some work, but focus on the chest and the triceps doing some work as well. Five, four, 
get that comfortable grip, probably the same grip as the chest press grip, and let's go. Extend behind, can you touch the floor? And then lift. Aim to touch the floor if you can. If you're on a bench, you can get nice and low, but make sure the integrity in your back, your lower back, your core, is working. I don't want to see the kettlebell going back and then the bum lifting up, or worse, the kettlebell going back and then the spine giving way like this. So, stomach in, tailbone under, squeeze those abs, and then the chest. 10 seconds. With the hands pushing inwards, you'll feel the chest. Two, one, and rest there. Okay, we're gonna superset that with a chest press that we've done, taking it straight into a tricep extension. So one press, one extension. Let's burn out the triceps with the chest as the superset. Three, two, one, let's go. One press, extend behind the head, touch the floor and up. Now move between the two. Please be very careful of your head. If you'd rather take a different grip with the kettlebell, so there's no chance of that iron hitting your head, then please do. Be careful. Fully extend at the top, squeeze the triceps. We want constant tension. Three, two, one and rest. So two exercises, pull over and the chest and tricep extension for three sets each. We'll be getting much closer to the end already. We're working hard, we're working fast. Two more sets of this one each and then we move into pretty much the finisher in three, two, one. Let's go. Pull over. So now focus on long arms, not locked out but a slight bend in the elbows. And the further you extend, the more you're gonna work. Remember what I said about the stomach, abs, lower back. Okay, two, one, and rest. Enjoy your rest. Get ready for the chest press and tricep extension. Chest is working. This is good. Oh, deep breaths in. And three, two, one. Chest press behind the head. Over the three sets, you'll find it will burn out closer and closer in the set. If you want to increase your weight at any time or decrease, then do so. Keep going, 10 seconds. Squeeze the triceps at the top. Two, one, and rest. Okay, that's two done. One more to go. Rest, enjoy. This 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest does not leave much rest at all for the chest. It's go, go, go. And that's one way to make home training really efficient. Two, one, let's go back to the final pullover. Last time. And because we're not counting reps, make sure you're making good use of that full 40 seconds. Time under tension the whole time. Slow, controlled reps. Keep extending, 10 seconds. Pulling up with that chest, two, one, and rest there. Oh, final time. 
in the chest press and tricep extension. Last 40, and then we get 20 seconds rest, and we go straight into the last 40 seconds finisher. Which I'll tell you when we get there. Three, two, one, let's go. Chest press, extension. Okay, should we try doubling up? Two chest presses, one, two, two triceps, one, two, keep going, two of each. Halfway, keep up with the two of each. Squeeze the triceps. 10 seconds. Keep pushing, five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. 20 seconds rest, come round. Do you remember exercise one? Let's go back to exercise one to finish the 40 seconds. It is the push up on both sides, the side step, okay? Get as many reps as you can. We wanna hit failure in the 40 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Push up, move. Push up, move, keep going. Don't stop until you fail. Get down low, only drop the knees when you fail. Keep going, 15 seconds, faster with good technique. Three, two, one, and final 20 seconds. Take the ghetto belt away. Push up like you've never pushed up before. Let's go. No equipment. Hit that failure. Come on. We want to have you dropping to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I couldn't get up in that last one. And that's where we need to be. Workout complete. We made it. Push the kettlebell aside. And let's do a couple of stretches. Whoa! The pump. Oh, it's sore. Hopefully it's working. Give this video a thumbs up right now if it worked for you whilst we crack into some stretches. So starting in a child's pose. Sit back, reach your fingers forwards. Lengthen the back. Lengthen through the chest, just dropping your body side to side. Breathe. Hopefully lengthening through that chest. Just take your hands a bit wider. Focus on one arm at a time as you drop that shoulder down. And then the other shoulder down. Keep alternating. Just releasing that lactic acid build up in the chest. Turn around into a seated position. Oh, what have I done to my mat now? How long ago did I do that, eh? Probably ages ago in those push-ups. Oh, turn around into a seated chest stretch. Hands behind you, elbows together. Open the chest up. Oh, that's pretty tight now. Oh, last few seconds here. Okay, shake it off, relax, well done. Massive well done for doing that workout. 18 minutes of intense chest day. You don't need to be in the, in the gym for two hours long with that kind of work and rest period with just one or two pieces of equipment. So well done, give, give this video a thumbs up like I said, click subscribe if you haven't already and make sure if you want more workouts then download my CrocFit app for home and gym training and hopefully a kettlebell plan coming soon, so look out for that one. Lots of love, see you later.